to share my January favorites, but I do have a couple products that didn't work out so well for me, so I thought I would share my fails at first and then move on into the favorites. The first product that I was less than impressed with in the month of January is this Revlon concealer. It's the Color Stay Concealer, and I have it in the shade Zero Fair. And it's a kind of a creamy liquid concealer that comes on a doe foot applicator. And I really like the Revlon concealer that comes almost in that lipstick tube where you twirl it up and it's a stick. I really like that one, so I thought this was going to work out for me. Unfortunately, this shade, which I believe is the lightest, when I put it on my skin, it just has a little bit of a gray cast that looks really unnatural. And then, almost even worse, after a couple minutes, even if I set it, it still settles into my larger pores. So if I put this concealer underneath my eyes and get it into this area, where my pores are a little bit larger, it just settles in and it just kind of gives my face that cakey look. So overall, not that impressed with the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. The other product that I didn't fall in love with is from Maybelline, and it's the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara. I was really excited about this, but it's really hard to get off, so much so that I thought I had mistakenly picked up the waterproof version of this, that it was that hard to get off. And honestly, it just doesn't do that much to my eyelashes to warrant that extra work, so there are other drugstore and high-end mascaras that I like better than this one. Moving into favorites, I have one that's a little random, so I'm going to start off with that. For the past couple years, I've had a T3 blow dryer. I got a really good deal on it, and I thought it was an expensive blow dryer, but that it was worth it because my hair dried so fast, and I thought, you know, it wasn't doing too much damage to my hair. Unfortunately, in December, it died a very sad death one morning. There was smoke and sparks, and my hair was left half dry and half wet. So I had to go out and get a replacement for it, and I just ran out to my local Walgreens and bought the one that happened to be on sale. And it was from John Frieda, and it doesn't say anything on the blow dryer, but I think the box said it was called like full blown volume. I will look that up and put it down below, but I love this blow dryer. I thought that it wasn't really going to compare to such an expensive blow dryer like the T3, but it was on sale for... I can't even remember. I think it was originally $50, but I think it was on sale for something like $30. So I've been really pleased with this. I think it dries my hair really fast, and it's not its not as light as the T3, but it's not too heavy, so I can style my hair with a round brush if necessary. So this John Frieda blow dryer is my first favorite for the month of January. My next favorite is a blush, and usually I'm drawn to more matte finishes when it comes to blush, but for some reason this one from Lorac, and it's called the Pro Cheek Stain in Plum Passion, just kind of called to me, and it is a plum shade with some subtle shimmer in it, and it looks a lot more shimmery in the pan than it does when it gets on your cheek, and I really like it on days like today where I've done a matte eye, I just think the subtle shimmer and sheen on the cheek is just really flattering, and I love this color, I think it's a perfect winter shade. My next two favorites are both lipsticks, and I'm blaming them both on Jessica from Gem or Jerica. In my Christmas present, she got me one of the Maybelline Color Whispers, and I liked it so much that I went out and got another. And this is also the lipstick I'm wearing right now, and it's in the shade of Plum Prospect. And I really like these Maybelline Color Whispers. They're just really easy to wear, and I like that they give a little bit of sheen to the lips, and it's just really healthy and flattering. So I have this one in a Plum Prospect, has been one of my most worn lipsticks this month. This next lipstick set me back a little bit more than the Maybelline Color Whisper. It's from YSL, and it's one of their new Rouge Volupte Shines, and this is in the shade at number 6. I can't remember the actual name off the top of my head. I think it had pink in it, but I will put that down below. This is such a beautiful shade. Technically, probably a little bit more suited towards uh, spring and summer, but it's been so dreary outside that my face has just really benefited from a little bit of a brightening lipstick. My last favorite is something that I have mentioned in a previous favorites video, I believe, but I thought it was worth bringing up again. The L'Oreal Lacquer Liner. I have finally decided that I, that this is my favorite cream eyeliner that I've ever tried, and I've tried some other ones from the drugstore and some high-end. I think the most, the most expensive one I've ever tried is from YSL, and while those have all been nice, just something about this formula goes on so smoothly, and I'm not the best at getting like the perfect line the first time, but this just makes it really smooth and easy and it doesn't drag on my eyelid. So I have, I got the one in I think bronze during the summer and this month I picked up the one in black is black and this has just become like my go-to everyday cream eyeliner. 
Those were my favorites and fails for the first month of 2013. I would love to hear what some of your favorites are. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you in my next video.